Hi, it's Doodling Debbie here again. Um, today I wanted to go over the different tools in the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition because some of our new members, they aren't sure if they want to buy it or not. So I wanted to start out just showing some of the basics. Okay, I already grabbed a shape from my library and I'm going to just move it right here in the center so you guys can see it better. So the first thing we're going to do is select the shape. I'm going to go over here to the Rhinestone tool that's in the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. And if you look over here, you'll see that we have the edge. And if I click on this, there we go. That's going to make a pattern. And down here at the bottom, it will show you that you need 264 of this size of rhinestone. Okay, if we select it again and you space it differently, but you still want to use the same size rhinestones, but space it out more to use fewer rhinestones and still get that same design, you'll see that I've taken it down to 166. If you want larger rhinestones, then you're going to use 144. And if you go to the, even the larger rhinestones, it shows you down here at the bottom 118. So there's also some other things. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. And maybe we'll go to the 10 for this demonstration. You have a linear fill. And that's the shape you will get. And once again, that's a lot of rhinestones to put on. But again, you can space them. Okay, then we have a radial fill. And that can kind of look messy. So I would go in there and, it, and make adjustments to, to where it looks rather nice. And once again, you'll see that this will take 368 rhinestones. Okay, now that I've showed you this, oh, and you can also release rhinestones. So if there's just a selection here that you would want to take out, you can just uh, select them right on out of there. I want to just grab a whole bunch at one time and hit delete. To kind of make the pattern that you want. So that's another thing you can do is release the rhinestones. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. I'm going to show you that you can do a single click. And another thing that comes in handy with these is to even for designing some of your own patterns, not just rhinestone patterns. So if I just keep on clicking around. Okay, so that shows you how you can do a single click. Okay, I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to go to the freehand tool. And these are just really similar to our other tools. And then, of course, again, by releasing the rhinestones, you can make some adjustments on your freehand drawing. You can do it with your arrow keys. Or you can move them each one at a time. Like this. Okay. So that is the rhinestone tool. Okay, now we're going to go over here to our sketch tool. I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle so I can show you the different styles real quick. Okay, first of all we have a plane and this would obviously show you that it would just draw with your sketch tool just a plain old circle. Oh look, I left one of those little things behind. And if we click on it again and we go to continuous, you'll see how it makes a shape that goes around our scribble, the pen, the pencil, sketch, and the charcoal. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here to plane. I'm going to show you something. This is one of my favorite things is the crosshatch. We go to crosshatch and if I go down here to like advanced options, this is where you can make all sorts of other changes. Okay, you can do your spacing. You can space them further apart like that. 
You can change the angle, the sweep, and bring out your offset to offset it even more. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. I'm going to draw another rectangle. Go back to my basic options. I'm going to choose that diamond hatch again. Make sure this is selected. Select my diamond hatch again. Go back to those advanced options. Change my spacing. That looks pretty good. I don't get too fancy with these uh, tutorials. But I just wanted to show you this really quick. I'm bring that spacing in. Just bring it out. There we go. Okay, now if I go over here to my line tool and I increase the thickness of my lines, you see I've made a nice lattice pattern. And if I wanted to cut this pattern out, of course I would frame it and weld it, but I just want to show you the cut style you should use. Because right now the lines would be cutting crisscrossing through here and that wouldn't look good at all. So if I use the cut edge, there, I have a nice lattice pattern that I can use for the backing of a frame, a card, or anything else. So I wanted to show you that little trick, even though I wasn't going to get too involved in this. All right, now that we've done this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my page view. I'm going to delete this out, and I'm going to show you quickly the shear tool, which is exactly what it says. I think we want to change that line size down back to zero though. So let me go in there and zero it out. Hop over here to our shear tool. And this is where you can easily click and go to 15 degrees, 30, so on, in the same way with the vertical shear. I'll do a 15 degree vertical. Or 30 degree. But if you see these little bars here, you can also slide these to make it share the way that you want it to. And you can do a custom shear by simply moving these handles in like this and moving them about. So that's your shear tool in the Silhouette Designer Edition. Okay, now we're going to go over to two of my favorite tools. And again, I'm going to draw a rectangle and we'll start out with the eraser tool. And what I like about the, the um, designer edition is of course we can use a square shaped eraser or a circular shape. I'm just going to grab one of these squares. We can make it as large as we want here. I'm just going to do it right there. And I have it selected on solid so you'll see what happens here. Nothing neat about this. And as you can see it made me two separate pieces that are closed paths, so obviously they can be welded. If I took this and I wanted to weld it with this, I could do it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the undo button. And now I want to show you if you go to outline and we're just going to go right here. Oh, I have to select it again and I'll show you something about this in a moment. So I take my eraser tool. I'm going to make it smaller this time by just dragging that little white ball in the middle. And if I erase right here, you can see that it's left me open paths. And that comes in handy, especially if we need to change something that we want to attach that just needs to be a uh, a perforated thing, then we can just connect it to it and then select our line shapes and go to that kind of line style. And I go back to a solid. Go back to my eraser tool. So I've so shown you the solid in the outline and how you can resize your eraser. So now that we're finished with this, I'm going to grab my knife tool. Well, we'll go ahead and just use this shape, it doesn't matter. And just like in your drawing tools, you have a straight, a poly, a curve, and a freehand. And then you have all of these preset 
ones which come in really handy for doing designs and like borders. I'm just going to show you one of them. For now, I'm just going to try to adjust this the best I can. Doesn't really make a whole Oops, sorry, I have to undo that because I left it on outline. And as you can see, if it's on outline, it'll just cut straight through. It doesn't matter which one you use. So I'm going back to solid. I'm going to use the same serrated edge. And here comes the plane. My windows are open today. Okay, and I'm going to just grab this, pull it away to show you how it made a pretty serrated edge. Now say I just want it to make a little little pattern out of this. I would go up here, grab my rectangular tool, hold this one down, hold my shift key, select this one, go to my modify and subtract. Up, subtract it the wrong way. Should have subtracted it from the top. So we'll do that. Ungroup these here. Hold down my shift key. Hit subtract all this time. Move these out of the way. And there I have, it looks like a little border. Select this. Ungroup them. Push this out of the way. And if I wanted to make this look a little neater, all I have to do is another subtract. So I go right down here and line this up to that little corner right there. Go and hold down my shift key and select this. There's my modi modify tool. I hit subtract. And isn't that a cute little border? So those tools can come in handy with your knife tool. Now one of the other things that I want to show you is how to set your tools up to the way you want to use them. You go to your preferences and you want to go to tool selection. Now here after creating shape I have chosen choose select because I want to be able to do this choose select after drawing freehand but with the eraser and the knife tool I chose continue using knife and continue using eraser. The reason why I chose these two settings is because in the old Silhouette Studio, every time you would use the eraser tool or the knife tool, you had to keep on going back and reselecting it and reselecting it. If you let go of your uh, mouse, it was going back to reselect. Now I can go in here and once I've selected it, I can just keep on cutting away. Now I do my dovetail, my sawtooth, my wave, without ever, ever having to go back and click on the knife tool again. So I really like those presets. And I'll just move these out of the way so you can see some of these cuts since I went ahead and did this. You get any of these little extras, you can always just delete them out. Okay, now I want to show you um, all of the different types of files that the Studio um, Designer Edition can open. So I'm going to go to Open. I'm going to do the drop down menu here, and you can see a GSD, a DXF, SVG files, ping files, JPEG, bitmap, GIFs, and TIFFs. The one thing I'm keeping my fingers crossed, and it's on my wish list, or is for this program to be able to open PDFs and I'm sure they're working on it. Okay, another little thing. I'm going to hop over here real quick. I already set this up. And I'm going to show you how that knife tool can come in handy. Say I want to make a little banner type of thing that says baby for a baby shower. And all I have to do is go in here. Now, hold on. Before I even do this, I want to show you what it looks like before I do this. Okay, we're going to weld that. That doesn't look too good with that uh, little place going right in between my A. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to grab that knife tool. And for this one I can use the straight. If it was a curvy area, I would probably use the poly or the curve. So I have it set to solid. 
So I'm going to slice down through here. And I'm going to go over here and slice up through here. And now I have that done, I just select this little shape here and I delete it out. Now when I go to do my weld, ta-da, much better looking image, isn't it? So that's just one of the many ways that knife tool comes in handy. Okay, this is all I have for right now on the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. I hope this has helped you see some of the features that the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition has in that you, when you get it, you have lots of fun with it. Have a great day. See you on the forum. Bye.